Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Manifest Tarot, and in today's reading, obviously, we have a pick a pile reading with three decks, and I'm so happy you joined me today. The topic is whatever the cards are going to show us. I felt I was going to do another topic, but I just felt really moved uh, to do a an open reading where they're just going to show us what they want to show us. And also, I'm really, well, I'm going to get to that in a second, but let me just introduce your decks to you and also your crystals. So this first one, this is the after tarot. And your crystal is Amazonite in the shape of a heart. And I just feel really moved. I I feel really, really moved to, to show each of you the spirit card, which is what I call the one on the bottom of the deck. And this one is the emperor. I just am really feeling like the cards want to speak to us today. So this is the after tarot. The crystal is Amazonite in the shape of a heart, and your spirit card is the Emperor. And this one is Mythos Tarot. And this beautiful crystal is the Red Carnelian in the shape of a heart as well. All three crystals are hearts. It seems to glow from within. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to show you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show the spirit cards for all three of these decks. So this one is the King of Wands, Kronos. Kronos uh, is a Titan from Greek mythology. So again, this is the Mythos Tarot, Red Carnelian, and King of Wands with Kronos. And this one is the Phantasma Tarot. This is Obsidian, this crystal. Again, all three are in the shape of a heart. So beautiful. Oh, you can see my, you can see the trees. <laughs> oh, and this one is the hanged man. The cards really want to speak to us today. That's what I think. That's what I, what I feel. It's thinking and feeling. So again, this is the Phantasma Tarot, Obsidian, in the shape of a heart in your spirit card, pile number three, oop, hmm, pile number three is the hanged man. So please take as much time as you want to pick one of these decks. You can pick through the deck, the spirit card, or the crystal, or all three, whatever you want. And I will see you in your reading. Hi, pile number one, welcome to your reading. You picked this after tarot and this Amazonite in the shape of a heart. This beautiful crystal. I'm going to put this one over here. And I'm also going to take out the spirit card, which is the Emperor. <laughs> the emperor wants to show us things here. Put that there. 
going to put this aside for now and I will take a couple oracle cards. I like to do this it kind of kind of wakes up and jiggles the cards so that they are called to duty. So I'm just asking the cards, what do you want to show us right now? You, pile number one, you watching, you've manifested this reading. What do you need to, oh, right off the bat, we have such a manifesty card right now. This is higher power. You can see it's number four and you can see there's a key in the third eye chakra looking up into the sky. And we don't know where the information is going, backward or forward or both. So this is one of your oracle cards, higher power. Ooh, oh my gosh, you can't see that at all. And then the spirit card is the fates. This is card number 17. This is the fates. And just to point out something, both of your cards, uh, the figures are both winged, if that means anything to you. And I am also going to draw an oracle card from this deck. I do feel this one. Hmm. The, ra the ram and Dahlia with determination. This ram looks determined. But I have to say, this higher power figure also looks very determined. Oh, and this is card 50. And the spirit card for this deck. The hair and oak with new opportunities. How cute. I'll show this to you. I'm going to move these down here. I'm getting shuffled all this. This deck is getting shuffled all over, so... Here's your spirit card for this deck. This is number three, the hair and oak with new opportunities. Hopping on into new opportunities. This looks very fallish, like autumn. All right, so let's get started with your reading. What cards, what do you want to show pile number one right now? What does pile number one, what messages do you have for pile number one right now? What messages does pile number one need to hear right now. I guess both want to come out. So we're going to put this aside for right now in case we need it, but we are also going to, I guess I'll put it here and I will show you the spirit card for your main deck, which is the Eight of Swords. And again, this is the after tarot. So look at what is different with this one. In the regular Rider Waite Smith, in the in the original Rider Waite Smith deck, this figure is standing there. Her legs are not bound, even in the original, but she's standing with all of the swords uh, 
around her and she could walk away, but she doesn't. So in this one, this is even more interesting. Well, it's just as interesting, equally as interesting, but it's just, a, it's, it's more, you know, it's action-y because this person, this figure has taken one of the swords and is cutting her bonds. It's kind of new opportunities. Look at, we already have so many messages. We already have so many messages. So let's look at your cards. Oh, <laughs> the star, the star figure had to have a brassiere, but this is the star card. And she is pouring water over herself and pouring water onto the ground. Page of Swords. He looks also very determined. This is... There's a lot of um, serious, powerful energy that I'm feeling from these cards today. Pile number one. Is there, some, is there something that you are working on that's really taking a lot of your focus, most of your focus, all of your focus. Uh, we have the Fool, new opportunities, and the Fool. This Fool is taking uh, his opportunities where he finds them. He's hanging by one hand off this cliff, and he's still taking the opportunity to smell the flower. The Hermit. The hermit has a lot of, for, for a hermit, her, this hermit has a lot of friends, I must say. Page of Cups. Four of Wands. Ace of Wands. Hmm. There's two more cards. I guess we are going to read these first. We'll see what these cards. I and uh, I'm gonna put them right here. And we'll see what we, when we are going to pull them um, out. So, the, the first, hmm, you've got a lot of powerful cards and cards that are kind of giving me a message of Determin det determination, of course, is determination here, but strength and focus, like focus, focus on something. You're focusing on something. And this is such a manifesty card because this is, I feel like this figure is um, communicating directly with their subconscious. And this can be read, this Eight of Swords is so interesting. I am feeling like this card for you today is um, representing that this figure is you. This figure is you, and this figure is you. You are cutting your own bonds. And, you know, the sword in the original Rider Waite Smith card was sitting right there 
already. So this figure didn't bring a sword. This figure took one of the swords from here. So the, the thing this is telling me is that how you're cutting your bonds, how you're setting yourself free, that was always available to you. That sword was always there, and now you're taking it and you're cutting your own bonds. I'm wondering what you are... The thing I'm wondering is what are you... What is it that you are... Um, working at because... I mean, this, this card tells me a lot. So let's look at the pages. The, these two pages, oops. These two pages, this is, this page is very concerned in the original Rider Waite Smith um, deck. This page is standing alone. I mean, or, you know, according to what we could see in the original Rider Waite Smith card, you could not see these three figures, but now you can with this after tarot. And this page is very determined, determined to, to, to stand their ground. And that's you, that's you. So it's another sword here, very, very reminiscent. Like you're cutting your own bonds and then you're also determined to use that same focus with whatever is presented to you so to speak, or whatever, whatever is in your 3D or in your, um, in your world that you are looking to master, I would say, something about mastering the, this, this thing that you are working with, you are ready, pile number one. And then this, page. This page is very interesting because, all right, so we have the page, the original Rider Waite Smith, the, the, the fish is in the cup and the page is looking at it very, very happy, very sad, satisfied with the situation. And now the fish is saying, okay, I'm, I'm done with being in this cup. I am going back to the, this looks like ocean, let's say going back into the ocean, see you later. And this page is very con kind of disappointed looking. So the page of cups in general is, especially reading it with this um, four of wands, which is a very, um, relationship, like, fulfilling relationship uh card i'm i'm reading this as this is whatever whatever relationship or relationships you've been focusing on this is a big part of your determination and your focus and your new opportunity and you're taking this sword this sword and cutting your own bonds and then using it. Obviously, we're not talking, we're talking figurative sword, not literal sword. But this Four of Wands is a very much of a, of a victory in relationships card. It is a fulfilling, wonderful relationship, whatever relationship it could be, very well, obviously, very well could be a romantic relationship. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. One of the really interesting, you know, you only have, you have, you have, um, yeah, you only have three numbered cards. So this looks like some more major energy. And one of them is an ace. So it's like really new beginning. I think aces, I mean, they are, they are numbered, but they're very, they're kind of like so powerful, generating a new beginning that 
you only have the, you have the four in your main spread here you only have the four and then the ace is kind of you know it is a numbered card i'd say but you have a lot of major arcana and you have a lot of um, court cards so this looks like more major energy i'm seeing a major shift a major um expression of whatever you're doing so and it could very well be relationship especially these two cards are here and they're close together so what another thing i'm seeing that's so interesting that they came out together is this fool and the hermit <laughs> both together and the fool is taking his opportunity where he finds it he is still he's fallen off the cliff that the dog in the original we're going to put this here for a second in the original rider Waite smith the dog is in my opinion okay so a lot of people say the dog is just as happy as the fool and the dog is you know not really paying attention but i always think the dog is saying <sighs> You're about ready to fall off the cliff and here the dogs saying what why did you do that oh my gosh what's gonna happen oh you're you've fallen and the fool who the dog hasn't the dog is more upset than the fool the dog hasn't fallen off and the, the fool has the fool is sniffing this flower still even in the face of disaster so i i am getting the strong feeling that this card is telling you ignore your 3d no matter what and it to me this is telling me that you are, are mastering right now or have mastered this you are the person you are like just completely you have completely mastered ignoring your 3d look at this amazing card this fool is a master manifester, able to ignore the 3D no matter what. And then right next to the fool, we have this hermit who is no longer a hermit. The hermit card is, is you know, the hermits are usually shown alone i mean the hermit is shown alone this hermit has a snake and a wolf and of course i've said this before but this you know you've heard lone wolf well this lone wolf this is a lone wolf in my opinion and this lone wolf is not alone either so neither the hermit nor the lone wolf are alone anymore so things are majorly changing even the hermit is no longer a hermit you are changing something. And this is whatever is most important to you, pile number one. You are changing this. Major changes, major changes. The, the eight of uh, swords, which is one of your spirit cards, you usually is major stagnation, but this is the point of change on this particular eight of swords N right next to new opportunities right next to determination right next to the fates right next to higher power right now when your main spirit card that came off the the full deck at the point where we were choosing the decks and, and introducing your decks and your crystals to you is the emperor you're in the seat of your power pile number one the message i'm getting from the cards right now is whatever you're doing keep doing it whatever you're doing keep doing it oh and the star i forgot to say something about the star card which is you know in the original writer Waite smith the star figure is pouring, is, is on the side of this pool, pouring water into the pool and on the ground. In this one, she's 
hopefully this is a nice hot spring or it's a nice or it's a nice hot evening. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna channel hot spring. So in this one she's gotten into the water and she's pouring it over herself and enjoying herself a lot more than crouching down by the edge of the pool. So this everything about this reading is telling me pile number one that you are you're just in your in your power you are in your power you are the higher power pile number one you're determining your fate you are the fate you're the higher power you're the fate through your determination you are changing something and again, I'm just really seeing this as your relationship. It could be something else, but for right, but what the cards are showing me is there's an important relationship to you that you are changing. So we have these two cards and let's see if we can get more information that may be about some sort of timing about what is happening to you, this major shift that you are going to be seeing. The Seven of Pentacles. Wow, and the Tower. Talk about major shift. Pile number one, wow. Something is completely changing for you. Something is completely changing for you. And it's through your hard work and diligence. Pile number one. Because the seven of pentacles and the, the tower card, I mean... The seven of pentacles, this is the har this seven of pentacles figure is already harvesting. This is your harvest pile number one. The, the, the seven of pentacles is already, this, this figure is already harvesting their hard work. They've, they've grown this through the summer. And if you're watching this, um, this reading, this is obviously, this is a timeless reading, but if you're watching it while I'm, um, recording it, it's autumn right now here, and harvest season is right now. So timing-wise, we're talking right now because for timing, this is imminent destruction. <laughs> imminent change, I should say, not destruction. Destruction of the old, destruction of what you're no longer wanting. And this also is indicating right now because this is the season right now where... I am is autumn. So for timing, we are seeing right now, pile number one, you are this whole reading that, that we are seeing is completely showing exactly how much you have worked and changed. You have changed from the person that stood trapped by her own, um, this figure was trapped by her own fears, insecurities, whatever. Now this figure is also part of the same. This Both figures are you. He is cutting the bonds. That is you. You are the higher power and you are getting whatever you want right now. You just are master manifester, taking your opportunity where, where you can find it to enjoy yourself no matter what the 3D is showing you. You're changed. You are doing it, pile number one. This is an amazing reading. I just... Congratulations, pile number one. This is an amazing reading. I love this reading. Wow. And I hope you've enjoyed it because I have. 
And if you did like this reading, please give me a thumbs up. I would really love that. And subscribe to the channel um, so that you don't miss any future readings. I would love to see you again. And thank you so much for spending this time with me. I really enjoyed it. And uh, I'm so impressed with you, pile number one. I will see you soon. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You chose this lovely mythos tarot deck and this red carnelian uh, beautiful crystal and i'm going to put this crystal here for now and we're also going to take this king of wands with chronos this was the spirit card for the deck. So I'm going to put this here. And as I said, I like to wake up the cards by doing this. I don't know why. It just, just, it's just, I, I feel like they get to wake up by that. And I'm going to ask the cards what messages do you have for pile number two today whoops i almost forgot we'll, we'll continue taking the cards from here but i almost forgot to get some oracle cards a couple more cards what i was so excited about the about this reading that i said that I just got into the tarot cards. All right, I feel this one. So let's put these aside for now, right here. And I will get some oracle cards. So what does pile number one need to hear right now? Um, to be fair, what is going on? There's so much going on in this card. Oh my gosh. So this is number 38. So number one, to be fair, is a judgment type card, right? Number two, there's an owl on the top of this figure's head. Number three, there's a fortune cookie on this figure's right hand side. And there's what looks like an egg on their left-hand side. And we're either at sunrise or sunset. And it looks like... Doesn't it look like fall leaves, autumn leaves? Here on the bottom. What an interesting card. We'll see what this means as we go along. And we're going to take the spirit card from the bottom of the deck for this deck. All that glitters. Wow. So let me show this to you. This is number 16. And this is a pile of riches, I guess, or something with two masks on it. Have you been wearing a mask, pile number two, or have you been seeing someone else wearing a mask? And I just have to say that this also could be saying something that is um, in your life right now is happening. There's something important to you happening right now because this is a timeless reading, but right now, as I'm in in my world here right now, I it's almost Halloween. Halloween is in just a couple of days. So there could be a sense of right now coming from this card as well. And I'm going to take another Oracle deck and we're going to ask the cards, what does pile number two what what messages do you have for pile number two? <laughs> the chipmunk and laurel. I love oh with success. 
So this is card number seven. The Chipmunk and Laurel with Success. How cute. So this is the third card that kind of has shades of autumn. Just in a row. These look like autumn leaves. This is signaling, you know, where I am, it's autumn right now. And this is signaling Halloween, which is happening right now in autumn. And this autumn colors, autumn vibes. So let's see what the spirit card is. The duck and chrysanthemum with luck. What fortunate cards right here. To be fair, all that glitters, success, and now luck. Wow, pile number two. Maybe we have, this is, maybe this is a success um, reading. So this is card number 10, the duck and chrysanthemum with luck. Pile number two, what's going on? You are. Oh, and then the king of wands. We can't forget, oops. I just noticed you can't see that all of that card. The king of wands with luck, or the king of, the king of wands with Kronos. But it's still a very lucky card. So let's see here. And we're going to have the spirit card. Ooh, the high priestess with Persephone. Um, I guess we'll put her here. And I'll... Wow, the cards are really wanting to show you something. They're talking. They're expressive. I'm going to straighten these out again. And then the spirit card for the deck is the High Priestess with Persephone. Another strong autumn vibe. This has autumn vibes to me and also obviously Persephone autumn because she goes down to the underworld in the fall and, that, that, and um, her mother Demeter causes it to become fall and winter because she's upset because Persephone is forced to spend her four to six months, whichever myth you're, you're, you're reading, in Hades, in the underworld. So I'm getting autumn vibes from a lot of this, obviously. So let's see. As I said, this might mean that... It could mean a couple things, but I mean, you know, just just to. It could be. Something is ending. It could be, something is happening now. But let's just see what the cards say. All right, so. Six of cups, with. Nemesine, I guess I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but this is this is a river in the underworld. What I'm remembering is this is a river in the underworld that is when you drink it, it makes you not remember. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to double check in the in the guidebook, but that's what I remember from Nemesine. So the Six of Cups. The Magician with Hecate. A very manifesty card. The Magician is a manifester. The Magician manifests things into reality. The sun with Helios. Helios was is the original. In Greek mythology, Helios is the original um, god that drove the chariot across the sky. The chariot being the sun, he would drive it across the sky every, uh, every day. And then his job kind of got supplanted by Apollo. In later years, Apollo 
became the god that um, drove the drove the chariot in, in Greek mythology across the sky. The Queen of Wands with Psyche. So this is the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands in the same reading. So many powerful cards. You have the King of Wands, the Magician, the Sun, the Queen of Wands. Two of Pentacles with Oceanus, Oceanus. This is also a Titan. Just like Kronos. The Five of Swords with Eris. There's, some, there's a golden apple here. So that's Shades of All That Glitters. Do I have room for another one? I'm going to just move this over a little bit. And we'll put another card right here at the end. I need a lot of cards. The Four of Wands with Hestia. Talk about autumn. This this also has some autumn vibes, all the colors. And we have two more cards left, so we'll put them over here for now. And wow, pile number one, uh, two, I'm sorry, pile number two. Let me see. There's uh, so much going on here. So the first thing I'm drawn to here is that you have both the queen of wands and the king of wands another um another thing that i'm seeing here i mean there's a lot of autumn a lot of that vibe for me and i'm feeling a lot of immediacy here um, and whatever is happening is extremely lucky and fair. You're getting some fairness, you're getting luck, success, and you're, there's a lot of just abundance coming to you. So... The, the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands with the Magician is, is really just, how can I say this strong enough? It's just that you're really sitting in your power right now and things are going really well for you. Things are going right for you. You're able to balance. You've learned how to balance what you need to balance with this two of pentacles. You are balancing. You see how powerful he is? He's the god of the entire ocean. And look at how he is just commanding it to do what he wants. This is you. This is you, pile number two. This four of wands as well. Oh my god, there's so much. I don't even... It, it's, it's almost like over... Not overwhelming, but it's over... Let me put these underneath here so I can get to that card. It's almost overpowering is what I'm trying to say. So... Alright, so... I've, I'm reading a big abundance and fairness. So, so, is something, did something go 
wrong for you in the 3D and now you're getting you're getting fairness. Something for some of you it could be that you had something unfair happen to you in business, something unfair happened to you in some sort of family business, you know, something but something major, something major to you. You know, something it didn't doesn't have to be life or death, but it it was major to you because the tables have turned now and you're getting this fairness, this judgment. And it could even be like a court court thing, some some legal proceeding. You're getting something happening that's taking care of this. It's that's that's it's coming to a successful conclusion for you. And I'm getting that because all that glitters, there's no qualification to this all that glitters. It's just an all that glitters. This is just all that glitters. That's for you. That's what I'm getting. Success and luck and the high priestess all being here up at the top, all of your um, oracle cards and spirit cards. Plus, you have the high priestess and the magician. They are counterparts. They're saying the same thing that you are in the seat of your power, you're manifesting. This 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 uh, magician is also right next to the sun, right next to the queen of wands. Very close to the king of wands. Powerful, powerful cards that are telling me the same thing. It's just reiterating the same thing. You are in the seat of your power here. You are... Things are going right for you. There's something that was happening and we are moving into everything right. Everything right. Do you see this? It's pretty amazing. And another reason I'm, I'm thinking it might, well, it might, for some of you, it might be that uh, something is ha was happening to your family or between you and your family because this card, the Six of Cups, is about um, family. It, you know, it's about connections. It's about it's about happiness. It, it's like kind of a somber card, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But it is a card. You know, this card. What I'm saying is, this artwork looks quite somber, but it is a very happy card, and it's a very abundant card. And I'm going to look up this because I'm not quite sure if it's, if she is, because she's, she's um, the goddess of memory. So let me, let me look up what her, because I know there's something about her and her and drinking the water in the underworld. Just a second. Yes. So. I got it a little bit wrong. So the the Leith is the one of the rivers in the underworld and that takes away memory, but she has a pool in the underworld and it actually gives memory. So if you drink the water out of once you know, if you're a spirit in the underworld, according to Greek mythology, if you drink from the sticks, you forget everything that happened in your life. If you drink, if you then drink from this uh, pool that she that's her pool you remember everything that happened in your life in your lifetime so that's quite interesting but um this card is abundance and connections so that's one reason I'm thinking it might be with your family, it might be with your close connections. No matter what, it's also a card of abundance. Abundance. We're seeing abundance for you. Pile number two. Serious abundance. And this also very fortunate card. The sun coming out. The sun. So fortunate. Whatever this is, it could be work related it could be work and family it could be family it could be something else you 
will know. You'll know because it is abundant. But with these two cards, I'm seeing that it is um, very well from many of you. It's about close connections, either family or friends or some close connection. So I'm seeing that with this card, I was wondering, but I, 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 now that I've seen and uh, now that I'm reading the rest of the cards, I feel like this is what happened in the past for you. Pile number two, because this is a, like I'm seeing a betrayal or something that happened in the past that this is all, I would say, rectifying or bringing back into balance because it's right, it's right next to the Two of Pentacles, which is a card of balance. There's something that happened to you in the past. There's a treachery, there's a betrayal, there is something that did not go right for you, pile number two. It's flanked by balance and by happy, happy fulfillment in relationships. So this card is what is now coming back into balance. This card is telling us about this card. That's what this card is. It's the memory. And you have, this is what, this is what this is. This is the balance. Pile number two. I don't know why I didn't see this before. You have a choice. And, and I brought this up right at the beginning, too. You have a choice. Things are coming back into balance. Look, we have two cards that are saying the same thing. Things are coming back into balance. Fairness is, is, is um, totally happening for you right now. Pile number two. You have the choice whether you are going to remember this betrayal and carry it with you forward, or if you're going to forget, you have a choice. You're gonna be able to choose to drink from one of two cups. You're either going to drink from the cup from the leaf, with, which is going to, you're going to forget this betrayal and in a good way, as in just you're going to leave it behind. Or you're going to drink from the nemesine. And I'm, <laughs> I'm pronouncing these as best as I can. Hopefully I'm coming up pretty close. But you can drink from that cup and remember it and take it with you and drag it behind you. Whether you're going to remember or forget is totally up to you. Both cups are being offered to you. Pile number two. And you can either remember and take this haul, this betrayal with you into the future, or you can drink from the leaf and forget and go forward in the seat of your power, because look at all these power cards. One more time, power card. High Priestess, Magician, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, the Sun. What abundance we have. To be fair, all that glitters, success, luck. Four of Wands, Six of Cups. You are being offered everything, and I know that this choice, whether you're drinking from the cup of memory in, in, a, in a bitter, bitter cup, a bitter, bitter drink, or drinking from the cup of forgetfulness, the sweet drink that will allow you to let go of the past, it's gone, and you are now going into this beautiful future. Pile number two. Wow. So we have two more cards. I feel, what should we 
what should we ask these two cards? Pile number two. I guess timing is good. Six of Swords, King of Swords. Um, I am ta I'm reading this Six of Swords as an immediacy card, pile number two, because and also an encouragement to to drink from the from the from the cup of forgetting because this six of swords is leaving behind the the, the message of the six of swords is leaving behind this what doesn't serve you anymore leaving it behind and the King of Swords is like a decision. It is an, more of a now. Like These two cards are, are reiterating that the time is now for you. The time is now for you to let go of this. Let go of this. That's what all the cards are encouraging you to do and do it now. That is what I see for you today, pile number two. And this is through your hard work and your determination to sit in the seat of your power to manifest what you want, that this message is that you it's a testament to your hard work and diligence that you have come to this point where you have this choice and you're being offered all of this. Look at everything you're being offered, pile number two. Wow, pile number two. What an amazing reading. Amazing reading. And I really am so impressed with everything that, that these cards are telling me about you. I am so... This is really powerful, pile number two. And I'm so grateful that you spent this time with me. I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It would be great to have you along on future readings and I'm so impressed with you pile number two I'm just reveling in all of these great things that are happening in your future and I really am so happy for you I'm just happy for you and I really hope to see you again soon, and I will see you in the next reading. All right, bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen... Well, I will... Well, yeah, I'll introduce your deck to you. You have chosen this Phantasma Tarot. I'm going to... Well, I'm going to put it here for now. <laughs> I'm going to put it here for now because we're going to uh, get some oracle decks for you as well as this obsidian crystal in the shape of a heart. So I'm going to put this here for now. Oh, of course, I meant to say we were going to take your spirit card first that we saw at the beginning, the hanged man. Very happy Happy, happy, happy hanged man. I'm going to put this here. There you can see that. And I'm going to take some, some um, oracle cards. So let us know what pile number two, uh, three needs to know right now. What does pile number three need to know right now? This is card 52 with Mending. So we're going to put this here. 
and we're also going to take the bottom card. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is also coming up on pile number two. This was pile number two's spirit card. This is, is exactly the position that came up on pile number two. So this is card number 16, All That Glitters. So if you have any, if you felt any connection to pile number two, it's a very powerful reading. You might want to check that pile out as well. So let's take another Oracle deck. So Oracle deck, what do you message do you have for pile number three? Oh, wow. All right. This also came up in pile number two. This is card 10, the duck and the chrysanthemum with luck. And we're also going to take the spirit card. Oh my gosh, what a cute card. This is the spirit card for this deck. The turtle and the coriander with satisfaction, and it is card number 31. The turtle and coriander with satisfaction. What a gorgeous card. And now this is your main tarot deck. Let's wake up the cards. Hi, cards. So let's see. What cards, what do you want to show pile number three? What do you want to show pile number three? Hmm? Let's see. What do you what messages do you have for pile number three? What messages do you have for pile number three? All right. So let's take the spirit card here. Oh, wow. Pile number three. I'm telling you, all three uh, readings have been so powerful, and this is no exception. Look at this spirit card for your deck. This is the world card. This is the world card. You have the world. Well, let's, let's wait. No, let's, I'm going to. I am going to put this here for now. We can always take more if we need to. But here is your spirit card. You can see all of your cards, right? Here. So let's see what do the cards have to say. Page of Swords. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. The Knight of Wands, the fastest knight in the deck. The Magician, this also came up in pile number two. So I would say definitely with all of this one, two, three. So far, um, I would say definitely, if you have any interest in pile number two, also look at that one. We have the Ace of Cups. And we have one more card. I'm gonna put it over here underneath this and we will see what it has to say. later. Let me see what we have here. Well, pile number three, I am, uh, this is 
I'm getting a really strong message. I'm getting a message that is really clear. And that this line, if you can get through this line, then you get to this line. That's what I see. Mending, all the glitters. There's no qualification. Like I point out to pile number two, there's no qualification on this. It's just all the glitters. That's it. All the glitters. Luck satisfaction in the world look at this look at these messages that you're getting but you've got an energy here you've got something that you're stuck disappointment concern having to assess it's it's really clear you see you see how they came out too they came out telling a story for us the hanged man you're in a, something about what you are experiencing right now like in your 3d or in your inner world in your you know in your in your inner world that you're trying to manifest out you're stuck You are seeing something that isn't there or it can easily not be there. Do you see this? It's telling you that there's something you are projecting out into your 3D something that is not actually there that you can just take back and then move through this. I'll explain this a little bit more in depth, but definitely it's, it's, it's just such an, a progression of exactly what needs to happen. Pile number one, uh, three. This, and the thing is, this is not, this is telling me more than just wealth. This is telling me everything. This is telling me that this is your entire life, your whole lifestyle, everything about your life, because we have mending, and this is a very communal card, like mending fences, mending relationships, mending mending everything it's a community card you can see both are diligently working on the same project mending right we have wealth and abundance with luck together and we also have satisfaction and we have the world and do you know the myth of the the world being on a turtle's back. So it's very, I mean, these two cards are very much ready to be read together. Satisfaction and the world. How much more can you wish for? You can't wish for anything more than the world. Maybe the stars too, but... <laughs> So the so I'm just telling you this is what I'm reading is this is not just about one thing in your life this is about your entire life because we have the world card and we have the hanged man the hanged man is not just hanging out there in one aspect of his life he's hanging out there in every aspect of his life there's nothing going on in his life his life is stagnant he is there it doesn't matter if he's like okay with it he's still there there's something concerning you. There's something that you're turning away from that you're that you're just so disappointed in that you are that you're how how can I say it? It's let me let me think here. It's like How can I say it? It's like you're, you are 
this is it. You're thinking that you are, this is exactly it, pile number three. You're thinking that you're hanging up here as the hanged as the hanged man figure. You're thinking that you're up there from the you know fifty thousand foot view to assess your situation, but in reality you're just up there being stuck. That is the the main message that this that this deck is is showing you. Pile number three. This is the this is the message that you have manifested and I really encourage you if you have any interest in pile number two to especially since there's all of these commonalities with pile number two it's 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 a similar message that came out so I would love it I would uh highly encourage you to also uh look at pile number two but you are Keeping yourself stuck through disappointment and through concern. And it does not have to be there. The cards are encouraging you. Remember, this reading, you manifested this reading. You manifested this reading. You manifested it right now as you're watching it. You're manifesting this. And you are being encouraging. You're actually, this is like you encouraging yourself the Knight of Wands, these are, these are such opposite energies. And you see, especially, it doesn't always happen this way, but your cards are telling a story like this. It's, you're reading the story like this, and everything is in order, right? From one, two, three, four, you know, just, uh, just totally in order. You are being encouraged to leave these behind and take action. And it doesn't have to be action in the 3D. It's just making some choice, making your decision, making your decision to stand firm in your convictions, in your manifestations with your practice with your um, manifestation practice because this knight of wands is right next to I'm going to pick this this card again the knight of wands keeps on wanting to want, see the knight of wands is the fastest knight in the deck it wants movement and do you know did you see how many times I picked this card up <laughs> in the past couple minutes the magician is the manifester of the tarot deck And the Knight of Wands is right next to the Magician. The Knight of Wands is separating your old from your new. And it's bridging you to the new. The Magician is telling you, I am, I, you, am manifesting a new beginning. New beginning, which is full of love, abundance, companionship. Mending what was broken or what was torn. Then abundance, luck, satisfaction in the world. I don't know how much clearer we can be about this story. It's, it's just so clear and so beautiful, pile number three. This is such a beautiful Reading it is so clear and beautiful and poignant. Pile number three. I'm almost at a loss for words. So beautiful. This is you urging you to make your move. And again, it doesn't have to be a move in the in the 3D. It just has to be a move within. So we have one card left, pile number three. And I'm not sure this is such a complete reading. I'm not sure 
what I should ask this card, but so I guess what I'm going to ask it is, do you just have any, just give us any further advice that you have for pile number three. Oh my, pile number three. This is perfect. I was thinking that it was going to be this card. I, I didn't say it, but I'm just asking you to trust me that I did think this was going to be the tower card. This is so perfect. Pile number three, it's telling you this is your moment. This is your moment. This is your moment to... You know, I was saying that that initially I was saying that this hanged man and this knight of wands were being opposite opposing forces in this reading. But now... This is, goes from no movement to all movement. So these are opposing forces. And pile number three, you are, you are asking yourself through this reading to let go of all of this. These are circumstances. These are circumstances. Do, 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 do. Circumstances. Let it go. And you look what you get. You look what you get from for letting it go. Look what you get for letting it go. Magician, Ace of Wands, Mending, all the glitters, luck, satisfaction, the world. Clear, clear as day, pile number three. I'm almost speechless. So it's so amazing how the cards will just tell us exactly the story so clearly. So pile number three, it seems like this is just one step. It's not like, uh, the last thing I want to say is yes, this seems like instant, instant, not a long slog. It seems like you've just, the only thing you need to do now is just let go, let go of hanging on, hanging on to what you have been hanging on to. It's no longer serving you. Let it go. Let it all fall away. Let it all fall away because that's what it wants to do. It wants to fall away so you can be this person. You can be this person. You can be this person. Have the world. Pile number three. Wow, pile number three. I was like, oh, whoa. Power power reading. I really, truly hope you enjoyed this reading and thank you. Wow, this was amazing. And I hope, yes, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you can join me with future readings. I love this energy that you brought. This is amazing. Amazing. It's amazing. This is an amazing reading. And yes, I hope to see you again soon in the next reading. Thank you. Bye.